Well, my bylines uh, pretty much says it all. Bob Stoops retiring. Now, don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to uh, throw up, um, at least not on camera. Uh, but I sure feel like it. Uh, it's sickening, that news about Bob Stoops uh, retiring as head coach of the uh, Oklahoma Sooners. Um, before this video goes any further, um, thank you, Bob, for nearly two decades of excellence. Um, to say that his arrival in the late 90s was well needed was an understatement. Oklahoma landed a home run when it came to hiring the former defensive coordinator from the Florida Gators from Steve Sprager, Bob Stoops. From 1996 to 1998, OU had only won 12 games in that dreadful John Blake era. So was Oklahoma at a low point in the late 90s? No, they weren't at a low point. They were underground. They were six feet under. They were at the gravesite, okay? You can put a tombstone on them, okay? Um, Bob Stoops, 18 seasons coaching at OU, had a winning season every time. Got them to a bowl game every time. Ten Big 12 championships. That's eight more than what Bill Snyder won, eight more than what Matt Brown won, eight more than what Art Bryles won. If you had a Mount Rushmore of Big 12 football coaching legends, there would only be one on that mountain, one face. That's Bob Stoops because he's head and shoulders above those other guys I mentioned and anybody else, okay? Bob Stoops is iconic, the greatest coach in the history of the Big 12 period, one of the best coaches that college football has seen in a long time, period. Two Heisman Trophy winners, two Heisman runner-ups, and a ton of All-Americans that he's coached offensively and defensively. And something else that we keep forgetting, or at least sometimes I forget, the number of assistant coaches that later on became head coaches. You know, Mark Mangino, of course, Mike Leach. Leach, of course, became the, the greatest coach in the history of Texas Tech football. We know that just by Leach's longevity, plus what's Texas Tech really done um, since Leach's firing. Yeah, exactly. Of course, you know, Chuck Long had a head coaching stint um, after being an offensive coordinator, um, you know, for Bob Stoops, Kevin Wilson, um, as well, um, so and there and there's others too, but those are names that just instantly um, hit my head. And of course, Mike Stoops was head coach at Arizona for a little while, and came back to be defensive coordinator under his brother. So thank you, Bob Stoops, for for 18 fantastic seasons, the national championship um, in 2000, and remember too, he got them to the national title game in 03, 04, and in 2008 and to the college football playoff two seasons ago. One heck of a coach, one heck of a recruiter, and Bob, enjoy your retirement. Enjoy your, your time with your, your with your wife, Carol, with, uh, with, your, with your sons. Um, and from what we've heard, he plans on staying in the Norman area, too. Um, so good news there, too. Um, now, several questions instantly come to mind. Why the retirement? Why now? Why during the offseason? Why in this fashion, spur of the moment? That's something that we may never get a clear-cut answer to. Maybe later, maybe never, but that part's an enigma, and it, and it may always be one. Um, we do know that it wasn't health-related, okay? It wasn't like the situation with Urban Meyer back in the 2000s when he suddenly retired as Florida head coach. Of course, he came back later and has done great things at Ohio State. But Myers' um, retirement was sudden, and it was health-related. Uh, from what we've gathered, Stoops' retirement is not health-related. Okay. Um, Stoops' replacement um, as head coach, Lincoln Riley, offensive coordinator. Hasn't been in Oklahoma very long, but we know how terrific his offenses have been. And obviously, there will be a new offensive coordinator now taking the sidelines in Norman. Um from what I've gathered, you know, the, the players, even prior to this announcement, love playing for Lake and Riley. They, they really, really do. Um, you know, there's no question that Riley has the respect of his players. And even though he's done one heck of a job as offensive coordinator, and I definitely don't want to say that Riley can't get the job done. But the Sears are going to have to prove themselves over again. And, you know, Riley... 
Can he get the job done? That's yet to be seen. And, and no pressure, by the way, on Lincoln Riley. Okay, second game of the year, you're going to play at Ohio State, a team that walloped the Sooners a year ago. The Big 12 is going to be better this year, a little bit better. Oklahoma State's got one heck of a team coming up. Texas will be much better under Tom Herman. And K-State under Bill Snyder will, will be a contender and will figure into the mix. Um, Lincoln Riley, no question, has his work cut out for him. But one thing we do know, though, Riley's got the respect of his players. He, 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 he's had that for quite a while. And bef even before this announcement about Bob Seuss retirement, Riley um, probably, um, in terms of achievement, the hottest um, coordinator out there in college football. So many schools wanted um, his head coaching services. Um, they turned them down. And Riley, entering this year, was going to get a raise of $1.3 million. How much do you think Riley's going to make right now? You know, what, what, three to four million per year, something like that. So, Sooner Nation, no question, um, wishes Lincoln Riley all the best. And you know what? Sooner Nation is behind him. Uh, but whether or not oh, you can, you know, produce another top 10 class next year, whether or not they can, you know, keep that, keep that high winning going, they're not just going to go in the tank. They're still going to be a quality team. Whether or not they can remain national championship contenders, that part uh, we don't know because, again, you have to understand everything that Bob Stoops meant to that program, what he earned with that program, okay, and how he made assistant coaches better coaches and how he made players that were already good even better. That's your impact as a coach, your longevity, how, many, how much you've won, and do I think it's as easy as one great coach retiring and then his replacement picking up from where the legend left off I don't think it's that easy, okay? But maybe Lincoln Riley can, can prove me wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe so. And I'm not the only one that feels that way. I know that. Um, finally, with Bob Stoops, is this the end permanently as far as retirement, okay? Now, will he ever coach college football again down the road? Will he get that, that, that fire back to become a head football coach on the collegiate level? Or is the NFL going to be another challenge for him. Um, for right now, I'd say he's retired, but if he ever coached again, um, I do think it would be in the NFL. Okay, Because to me, I think with Bob Stoops being a former um, coordinator defensively under Spurrier and being a head coach for nearly two decades, I think Bob Stoops would say, been there, done that as far as college. If he ever came back to coach, it would be in the pros in my opinion. But for right now, he's retired. And again, Bob Stoops, have, have a great retirement. You know? And again, thank you for all that you've done for Sooner Nation um, and all that you've done for the Big 12. There's no question this, this hurts Oklahoma um, notably, but it also hurts the Big 12 too nationally because you just lost the best coach that that league has ever had. And again, the, sec the second best coach, with all due respects to the Bill Snyders, to, to Matt Brown, who had terrific Texas teams in the 2000s, you know, and to Art Bryles, who had a nice run earlier this decade, and to you know coaches now like Mike Gundy and the, you know Gary Patterson, um, they don't hold a candle to Bob Stoops. They they simply don't. And this Sooner fan is definitely going to miss the guy with the visor roaming the sidelines, and certainly, and in the end, um, man. <laughs> I'm not lost for words. Um, it's just part of life. It's one of, the, it's one of those things. But remember, it's just a game, and remember that um, all, all the all, all the all the times that Bob Stoops um, gave us and his coaching excellence. He's going to be missed, and he will go down with Barry and Bud as as simply great. Boomer soon.